Welcome back to Live on Lakeside. It is 1136. While there is a multi-community project going on across Northeast Ohio called CLEAN, stands for the Collaborative Learning for Environmental Action Network. Very good, and we've got two college students joining us today to talk about everything that they're working on. Brittany Emmert and Joe Higgins. Thanks for being here, you two. Thanks for having yeah, us. Yeah, thank you. So which campuses are you guys each from? I'm from Kent State University. Okay. And I'm right here at Cleveland State University. Nice. Oh, nice. So let's talk about this community-based environmental organization organization. So what are you helping? Which organizations are you helping out with each campus? Um, I've worked with the Northeast Ohio Regional Sewer District. And this summer I spent uh, um, time as an aquatic research technician with the Cleveland Metro Parks. Wow. How does the whole project work? I'm just curious. You know, just explain a little bit about how it works. My role is a stewardship liaison. I worked with nine other students, undergraduate stewardship liaisons, from um, Akron and Hiram. And what we did was work with high school students from local Cleveland schools, and we helped educate them to develop a four-contact hour curriculum to help their school receive a 25% uh, credit off their sewer bill. Wow. And we're looking at photos here yeah. uh, and, and the students. And Joseph, what about you? Cause you well, Brittany and I, although we're part of the same program, had different objectives and different projects. Um, I worked with another Cleveland, student, uh, Cleveland State student, Rob Snyder, and we worked uh, developing curriculum for an urban ecology course at Cleveland State where uh, we took the course out to the West Creek Reservation in Parma, um, and we did um, primary headwater stream assessments with, with that class, taught them how to do that and the importance of it. And, and that sort of thing. Speaking of importance, why don't you each just touch a little bit on the benefits doing something like this has on students. It's so awesome. Um, well, our role as undergraduate stewardship liaisons is we helped engage the students when we educated them. Yeah. So um, with that hands-on engagement, it gives them more motivation, more excitement, and makes them want to tell their fellow students about it. Be like, oh, this was really cool. We did this. We're sure. saving the world by changing like watershed systems. So how can other students, whether they're at your school, different schools, in Northeast Ohio, even, even faculty, how can more people get involved to make sure everyone knows about this initiative to make it a, a better world? Well, the biggest part I would suggest is just awareness. Uh, it's not, uh, it's a growing program, um, and, and in terms of environmental stewardship, you don't necessarily have to be part of the CLEAN program to, to help advance that endeavor. So I would say any, any uh, raising awareness in your community about the effects of stormwater and stormwater mitigation and stream health and that sort of thing and why it all matters and, and the ecosystem services that, that those kind of ecosystems can provide your communities, it's just uh, such a um, little-known thing. Yeah. Do you feel like this has changed you just in doing this for others and to getting them motivated? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, just seeing like the motivation and excitement that the students have as well as the excitement that we have as undergraduate stu stewardship liaisons, it's just exciting and more motivational for everyone. And you know, you could read about stuff in textbooks, right. sewer water and everything There's else. There's nothing but, like actually doing But when you go out and you see it and you experience it firsthand, that's really got to show you and really sink in. Because it's, I know when we went to John Carroll, it was kind of hard to keep our attention going. I guess when you're when you're projects like that, that keeps your attention a lot better, correct? Oh, sure. And there's a lot of people, too, a lot of students that learn by doing more than by reading or listening. Totally and then agree. just to go out and have that opportunity to actually execute some of the things you're learning really sinks in. Yeah, that's the best way to learn. I don't know if it kept your attention or not. I kind of threw you no, under the bus right there, didn't I? I? <laughs> you did. I'm sorry. But I, do, but I, I totally agree. I didn't want to feel alone. No, I totally agree, and I'll always be there for you. No, but I think it's great that you go out at just such, at such a young age yeah. and really learn firsthand because when younger students see it, you set a great example Thanks, for the younger people out there. So thank you very much for coming on. Thanks for having Thanks us. For having All right, you. Western Reserve, rcd.org is the website where you can learn more. All Thanks right. Again. Yep, we've got uh, a new furniture line coming to Levin. Have yes, you heard we do. about this? Yes. Good, because we're going to tell you all about it if you haven't. <laughs> and plus, <laughs> Karina's interview with one of the stars of Lincoln, Joseph Gordon Levitt. We have that and more coming back after these messages.